Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Uh, and uh, it's Sunday. Usually I'm not fixing things on a Sunday, but this is a special request. This phone is coming from uh, another phone repair shop. They are fixing phones there, only phones. So the the f the the owner of this of this phone it's like a, the phone is being used by a student a daughter who is still at school so there are some essential documents according to his explanation so he sent the phone to another cell phone repair shop they opened you know what people they are doing when you open a device mostly you are checking what you know and what you don't know you can't check so the phone was not turning on they thought maybe the battery is dead they put a new battery still the phone is not working and uh, you know what people are doing most technicians who are in cell phone repairs they think a device can be solved can be fixed by by putting spirit you try to brush the board no it doesn't work that way <laughs> actually i'm not using spirit i've never ever used a spirit i use like a like i alcohol it's a iso isopropyl alcohol this one this one the advantage of using this this liquid rather than spirit it evaporates very fast and uh, if you use it you are 100 percent sure nothing can go wrong so uh, let's see what is inside this you know this is the moment when someone put you on corner because he said my daughter wants to go back to school Monday morning and uh, we have to fix this some screws that's the what is this this is a fingerprint sensor okay so that the phone no power not charging yeah there are no screws because he, he took the phone to another cell phone repair shop they couldn't fix he said put back or put all in one place and let me try another another repair shop and uh, they came here so this is techno model bd3 bd3 what is techno model bd3 let me check the model now because i have to know what i'm really fixing here techno pop 5 pro this techno pop 5 pro okay so let's plug in the the charger that's the first step obviously we need to see if it's taking any current check here on top the far top five volts let's wait for the the current like zero zero it's not taking any current it's not doing anything all what i see i can see this light trying to power on the phone let me find something on When you hear the switch is clicking, 
but the phone is just dead it's not taking any current all what we have is this blue light at the far top so let's see what is here let's see what is here that the battery looks new let me try to take out yeah it seems as if this has been overworked i don't know if i can fix this i don't know if i'll be in a position to fix this So what is here, we have the, the panel for the charging, we have this connector, which is supplying power to the main board to charge the battery, okay, we have the connector for the LCD, that the battery, battery let me try one more time just to be sure no nothing is working here nothing is working so let's start checking some things DC, what do you, what kind of voltage do we have on this battery? You know, I hate working on small things. It's hard. Everything is very small. Three point seventy-three volts. Okay, which is not that bad. You know what? Let's plug in the charger. Let's check if this charging port is driving voltage to the to the plus plus terminal of the battery that's that is another step zero on the other side zero it's not supposed to be like that the next step we are trying to eliminate where our problem is let's disconnect this charging panel Let's see if this charging port is is driving power to here 5.99 you can see on the screen so our problem is not from this side fine here we have a body problem Let's put our multimeter on diode. You know the beeping mode. Ground from all these metal metal shields. Which we we are isolating the components from like moisture and the other other kind of uh, things which can which can lead to to what can i say they put these metal shoes just to protect the components against moisture against short circuit and all other things so i'm on diet mode the bb mode I'm checking on the Z 
zero zero this looks like it's ground the other side zero the other side zero that's not good because on the battery we have minus we have plus we have the middle pin which is going probably to the temperature sensor that's why you see the error message on other phones temperature too low temperature too high because something on those something along the middle pin because from the middle pin is going out to some resistors current resistors in most cases i found uh, like one shortage and is giving like uh, error messages so here the plus is shorted to ground so clearly this this board the, the, the main power uh, which is in this case is 5 volts is shorted to ground it's shorted to ground the next question is how do we find out the shortage let's check again short short why let's play with power supply voltage This is a phone board, so I need to play with one amp, one amp, three volts. We want to be on the safe side always. Let's see. I've set one amp here, 1.12 on the other side. 1.12 so which one is grounding 1.13 1.13 let's start to see what is taking that current go well, this one is the top side is the plus what is taking that current well, something must be taking one aim. You know, I think that the point when you see that a thermal camera is very important. Something from this side, something from this side is getting warm. So what I would do, I would, I would try to take out that shield. I need something. Like usual, yeah, that the transformer. And here we have some cameras, we have small things. We should be careful when we are dealing with such kind of things. Let's check out this metal thing. Well, something here is not right. Need more air.
Yeah. Simple and safe. Transform. Get down. You've done your row. So. What I want to do, because the connector is here, and uh, something that is getting hot is on the other side. So I want to to solder a wire so that when you go under microscope, we can clearly check what's going on on the other side. So what I would do. The problem the problem we are not working with the schematics so it's not easy it's not easy What do I want to do? Yeah, I've soldered the wire. Let me shorten this wire. Looks, yeah, the wire should not be too long. Oh, my board just fall down. And I can't see it. So checking one more time. This is the plus where there's a wire. Zero. Zero. Plus and minus should not be mixed up. That's what I know. So for sure we have a problem. So what we are checking on a phone? What is most likely to be shorted? What is most likely to be shorted on a phone? Let's pick up a random schematics. Uh, just pick a random schematic. We want to check some things together. It's good. To understand the basics, so what is here? What is here? We have a random board for an, for a phone which I don't know. What, what what kind of phone is this? I just pick a random schematics. So this is the other side. We have some connectors probably for the camera. We have these metal shoes and underneath we have some uh, some chip problem. I'm opening on a PDF so I can't edit. And on the other side, what do we have? We have this, you can see plus and minus here yeah, that's the battery connector. We checked on our phone, the plus is like zero resistance to ground, same as the minus. The plus is meant to carry probably close to 5 volts to charge the phone, the, the battery, sorry. So with 5 volts, we should not get like zero resistance to ground. That's not good. So from the plus, where our Our voltage is going to this. You can see this diode D2902. This is a diode, a protecting diode. In case if anything happens, this diode will find it on short, shorted. Here we have the current sensor, current resistor. After that, we have some 
some more power supplies for the processor for the chipset in, our, in my case it should be SP, SPD you might find different chipset media take so the landing, there's nothing much on phones that's the main power rail which is 5 volts and we have some so something like one point something volts for the for the for the chipset. You see that the connector for the LCD and more connectors for the cameras. So that's the thing. That's the thing. So what I want to do now, I think, is that moment to go under microscope and see what's going on here so let's see what's going on under microscope let's see what's going on under microscope so that the board the other side of the board and the connector for the LCD which is ok yes we have those metal sheets here you can't see anything on the other side We have some components. We do have some components on the other side. FBL. We need to do visual inspection to see if we can spot anything. What is that? Check here. What is that? You see? This looks like it's a fried capacitor. What is this thing? This one. You see this thing? Okay. Components. Let's ignore and check the other part of the board. Okay, you know what, I think we, we have to start at this point, because I'm not, I'm not able with that component, but the problem, I don't know what kind of component is this, that is another problem. What is that component? It looks like it's a capacitor. I'm trying to put my microscope on focus so that I will see here this what is this multimeter still on beeping mode let's check that that thing if it's shorter to ground 
I'll put one probe on the ground, then the other side I'll try to check. Where am I? Here. This side is, is shorter, is grounded. What is this component? An idea? Let's come with the power supply. Ground. Let's use alcohol. But clearly you can see this component looks weird. I think it's a capacitor. Alcohol. Let's raise the current. Let's raise the current. Two point five amps. I can't see this chip like taking that current. Maybe something is not is not right. Maybe the chip was this ch from this component. It's going straight to the to the chip. Hopefully the chip is not dead. Hopefully the chip is still right. So what I want to do let's try to clean this area and uh, want to take down that component. So let's take out that blown up component quickly. I'll put flux. And I'll try to take out the component. Let's do it. Cool. 
come on in this out let's try to look for another capacitor from another board looks like it's a capacitor I want to do a quick replacement of that thing. Yeah. We have that small guy. Which I need to align yeah the problem I stand for microscope it's not a, it's not so great so I think I'll be in a position to work nicely under microscope in the future when I change my microscope Too much air just to blown up the capacitor. I think we need another one. Good. So what we have done Let's see Yeah That's the capacitor the capacitor so the question is We have two questions here. The first one is do we still have a short? The other one is does our main 5 watts power have still shorted? Let's check to confirm that. And there's more, no more short you can see. The other side is beeping, meaning to say it's ground. The other side, that's plus. Let's go on this, on the, on the connector, on the battery connector here. Just to confirm. This one is minus. 
and the other side is plus you can see the other side is not beeping but this one this one is beeping this one is not beeping anymore so we are done so if I'm to come with power supply on same point and trying to see how much current is being drawn I'm sure Uh, where am I? Yeah. It's taking like a 10 milliamps still by current. The other side 2.5 amps. The other side 10 milliamps. So we are safe. So is that moment to test? Let's see what's going on here. Let's see now. Let's try to put all together. So I believe there was a capacitor which was shorted to ground. No, we need to put the metal shield first. Always soldering wire. I'm curious to see because the capacitor which has shortage so shortage is meant that the 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 V in chip for the SPD chip I've put already the metal sheet but I was supposed to to check the chip number You know, if something came in pieces, it's very hard to repair, trust me. Maybe this was just a wasting a waste of time. Because people that are trying to get money by chance, it doesn't work that way. You have to learn the basics. People that are trying to get money by chance, and in the process of doing that, they mess up things. When they mess up things, when they mess up things, They discover that they can't fix the, the, the item. That's where they try to look for help. Okay. 
let's see if it's taking any current now. I have two millions. Okay. Again, you can check here. It's taking. Wait, maybe I didn't insert properly. It was taking like 400 milliamps. We have the charging sign. Maybe the battery is too low. Or we can try. Seems as if it's working. Or Yeah, let's wait. So that's how you can diagonize and fix a dead a dead phone. The, there's it's not it's not difficult. It's not difficult. I'm happy. Let's wait to see if this phone will come on. Let's just wait. Just to make sure that everything is working, it's touching. Phone is starting. Oh, the battery has got 31%. This battery has some power. Okay. And the phone is working fine. There's no user password there. You see? All the charging. All the charging. I can't see anything. Let me clean up this po this connector. Let's clean up the connector. Uh, the battery connector. Just to make sure that. But is properly inserted on a clean surface. Let's see now. Stacking three hundred milliamps. Why? Yeah, I think something is maybe this connector, but it seems as if everything is working fine. Seems as if it's an achievement here. Check on the screen. Our phone is charging fine. So our phone is charging and uh, everything is fine here. So I can see on my OBS is almost 45 minutes trying to fix some kind of cheap phones. So what I would do, the only job that is left is to put all the screws, put some covers 
I can't keep you at this moment, but uh, the most important thing is uh, the part that the process that I took to diagonalize the, the, the fault. That's the most important part. The things that are necessary to check, the voltage that are necessary to check, and uh, how you come to a conclusion that this component is fault. Our phone is working fine. It's touching, it's doing any, anything, everything. So I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. See you on the next game. Bye.